Hi guys, welcome to JDMAstar.com. My name is Jose Cornejo, and today we're going to discuss a few troubleshooting steps on how to correct power failures with our T10 bulbs. Uh, here in front of us, we're actually working with the license plate lights of a 2015 Honda Accord. Um, as you can see here, we already have a halogen bulb that's right up here. It's a 5 watt halogen bulb. And uh, for demonstration purposes, we've already inserted an LED bulb on here. But it's not powering on. So this is a common issue that uh, we've come across with a lot of uh, 210 bulbs, even uh, with other vendors as well. So let me go to show you how to fix minor power failures such as this. So first off, uh, let me go ahead and pull out the LED bulb. Alrighty, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the pins on the bulb itself line up. Now, we can't really look into the socket, but you basically want to adjust the pins away from the center. Usually the contact points on the socket are most 210 uh, wedge size sockets, and there are other cross-reference sizes um, that have a similar setup. And usually the contact points are closer to the edge of the bulb, or I guess I should say socket. So you first want to make sure that the pins are lined up. And then, after installing the bulb, if it still does not want to power on, then you basically what you want to do is check the polarity. Polarity basically means that the bulbs will only power and function when inserted a certain way, because current will only travel one way with this particular model. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, flip it 180 degrees, reinsert it, and there it is, guys. Now, if you start, if you still cannot resolve the issue then at that point you may want to consider contacting us for technical support so that way we can help you troubleshoot the matter even further but for the most part um, common power failures can easily be fixed by simply adjusting the pins or checking the polarity of the bulb well, that's pretty much it for today guys thank you so much for watching uh, please stay tuned for more weekly videos on tips and tricks when upgrading to LED bulbs with our products